Well, I'm going to be brief. There's two things I want to point out. One is the kind of cuts that we're contemplating and the pink slips that have already gone out sends a message to all college students, don't go into the teaching profession. That's, right. that's a tragic message that's being sent, but it's being sent loud and, loud and clear. Now, the second message I want to tell you is I'm going to get right down to what we need to do. We keep talking about doing our homework. Well, I'll tell you what the homework says that in order for us to avoid these cuts, we've got to look at ways to raise revenues in the state of California. Today, my wife and I had lunch. It cost us $19. Do you think it would have bothered me to pay one more cents on a sales tax in order to help our schools? That would have been a grand total of 19 cents. And yet if we did that, we could raise five and one half billion dollars and we could take care of that 4.4 billion that the governor wants to take away. Now you don't need to tell that message to me because I'm gonna be one who raises his hand when time comes to raise taxes in order to save our schools. But there are some people that you're going to have to put some pressure on. Now, there was a, a female legislator in the 19th century in Iowa who spoke before a group of farmers, and she said to them, you need to, to raise a little less corn and more hell. So I'm going to tell you that there's some people, and I'm going to be brave enough to say that they've got an R behind their name, and they're saying we're not going to raise taxes. We will rather punish the school children of California than to raise taxes. Over 50% of Californians are now saying, by their opinion, yes, we're willing to pay more in order to save our schools. So you're going to have to put the pressure because we've got to get a two-thirds vote out of the legislature. And I'll guarantee you, if we get a two-thirds vote out of the legislature, the governor will come around. So I'm going to tell you this. If you really want to know where the pressure belongs, it belongs on the legislators who are mildly saying, not, oh yes, they will tell you they're all for schools, but when it really gets down to it, it's rhetoric and it's not money. And we've got to put the pressure so that people are willing to say, okay, maybe we need to raise revenues on a temporary basis to avoid this drastic and horrific cut that is uh, forecast for the schools of California. Thank you very much.